In this video presentation, we will discuss about the Newcastle disease, one of the most common and detrimental avian viral disease affecting the poultry farming. In this part 1 lecture on Newcastle disease, we will have an introduction about the infection, host range, viral morphology, genomic organization, antigenic property, virus replication, and the virus applications. Only the, very virulent Newcastle disease and the, highly pathogenic avian influenza, are listed as a notifiable disease, among the poultry diseases. In this lecture, we will discuss on Newcastle disease. Classification. Paramyxoviridae family, classified under the Baltimore Group 5, with the order mononegaviral. Some of the veterinary important viral diseases under this family are, canine distemper, rinderpest, and PPR under the genus Morbillivirus, and Newcastle disease under the genus Aulavirus. Other diseases under this family are, measles, mumps, hendrovirus, nipah virus, human parainfluenza, bovine respiratory syncytial virus, and turkey rhinotracheitis virus. In this lecture, we will discuss in detail on Newcastle disease. Newcastle disease. This disease was first identified in a place in Indonesia. Later it occurred in Newcastle at England, and named after it. The other names for this infection are, raniket disease, pseudofowl pest, and avian pneumoencephalitis. The word Ranikat is a place. Named after its place of emergence in India. This disease is caused by the genus Aula virus, and species avian paramyxovirus type 1. This viral disease is highly contagious, and characterized by digestive, respiratory, and, or nervous signs, in domestic poultries like chickens, and in other bird species. Host range. Apart from chickens, this virus also infects and reported in many species of domestic and wild birds, of all age groups, such as, turkeys, pheasants, partridges, quail, guinea, fowl, passer, and birds, parrots, cockatiels, waterfowl, cormorant, ostriches, pigeons, vulture, sea eagle, falcons, osprey, gulls, owls, pelicans, crows, ravens, and penguins. But susceptibility, and severity varies with the species. This virus can be transmitted from infected poultry to the humans, and causes mild conjunctivitis in these poultry handlers. So this infection is having a public health concern with minor zoonotic potential. Occurrence of this infection. Worldwide. Very common. But Newcastle disease caused by very virulent pathotype, that is, VVND, is listed as a notifiable disease. Virus morphology. This virus posses helical capsid, which is herring bone shaped, and also covered with lipid envelope all around. The entire virus is about 200 to 300 nanometer diameter. This lipid envelope is studded with three important proteins namely, the hemagglutinin, neuraminidase, and fusion protein. These three proteins are the immunodominant proteins, which play a major role in the antigenicity, that is virus neutralizing antigens. This is the herring bone pattern, observed in the helical capsid of this virus. Genomic organization. The genome is monopartite, single-stranded, and negative sense RNA. The genome length is 15 kilo base pair length. The viral genome encodes proteins namely, nucleoprotein, phosphoprotein, matrix protein, fusion protein, hemagglutinin, neuraminidase, and polymerase enzyme. Fusion protein play a major role in the virulence of Newcastle disease virus strains. As we already discussed, three important proteins, the hemagglutinin, neuraminidase, and the fusion protein, are the immunodominant proteins, which play a major role in the antigenicity that is virus neutralizing antigens. These proteins binds to the host cell receptors, and causing the infection, and the pathogenesis of this virus. Antigenic property among the viruses under the family Paramyxoviridae. The genus Aula virus, possess all the three proteins. Fusion protein hemagglutinin and the neuraminidase. The genus Morbillivirus, possess two proteins. Fusion protein and hemagglutinin. But the pneumovirus posses only fusion protein. So, the Newcastle disease virus, which is under the genus Aula virus, possess all the three proteins. This virus possess hemagglutin and glycoprotein spikes, which attaches to the specific RBCs, that is chicken RBCs. In turn, a network of bridges is formed between the RBCs and the viruses. This is called, hemagglutination. Following agglutination with RBCs, the virus detaches with the RBCs later, due to the neuraminidase enzymes, which is present in the same viruses by breaking the brides formed between the cells and the viruses. This is called, elution. Serotypes. Under the genus Aula virus, there are 11 serotypes, which is characterized based on, hemagglutination inhibition, 
and neuraminidase inhibition assays. The 11 serotypes are namely, avian paramyxovirus type 1, 2, type 11. Among this, avian paramyxovirus type 1, is the causative agent of, Newcastle disease. Newcastle disease viruses are classified, based on their virulence, into three pathotypes, or strains. Number 1. Ledogenic strain. Whose virulence is low, causing very mild signs, and negligible mortality. Number 2. Mesogenic strain. Whose virulence is moderate, causing moderate disease signs, and up to 10% mortality. And number 3. Velogenic strain. Whose virulence is very high, causing severe disease, and up to 90% mortality. So ND viruses are pathotyped, based on their virulence, into three pathotypes, or strains. Ledogenic, mesogenic, velogenic. How they are pathotyped. Generally, they are pathotyped, using any one of the following laboratory methods. Number 1. Mean death time. Here the virus is injected into 10-day-old specific pathogen-free embryonated eggs, and their mean death time is analyzed. Number 2. Intracerebral pathogenicity index. Most commonly used method. Here the virus is injected into a day-old specific pathogen-free chick, and then their pathogenicity index is analyzed. And number 3. Intravenous pathogenicity index. Here the virus is injected into 6 weeks old specific pathogen free chickens, and then their pathogenicity index is analyzed. Intracerebral pathogenicity index. Most commonly used method. Here the virus is injected intracerebrally into a day old specific pathogen free chick. Each virus has to inject it to a flock of each with 10 SPF chicks. After injection, birds are examined every 24 hours for 8 days. Then, the birds are scored. Scored 0, if the bird is normal. 1, if sick. And 2, if dead. Generally the virulent viruses will score 2, whereas the lentogenic strains will get the score close to 0. As we already discussed, fusion protein, play a major role in the virulence of Newcastle disease virus strains. This fusion proteins are generally exist as an inactive precursor. But once this inactive protein is reacted to the proteolytic enzymes like cellular protease, which is present inside the cells, or by trypsin. The inactive fusion protein precursor, get cleaved or fragmented into, two active subunits. In this process, the virulence of Newcastle disease virus gets increased. So the proteolytic cleavage of fusion protein, will enhances the virulence of Newcastle disease virus. These are the Newcastle disease vaccine strains. F strain, Hitchner's B1, Lesota, V4 strain. R2BR move Teshwar strain, Roken and Komarov or K strain. Strain F. B1 and Lesota are lantogenic. And strain R2B, Roken, K are mesogenic. Virus replication. The Newcastle disease virus enters the host by fusing the viral envelope with the host cell membrane. During fusion, the viral proteins like hemagglutinin, neuraminidase, and fusion proteins may get integrated to the host membrane. Following entry, the virus replicates in the cytoplasm. Here, the genome is negative sense RNA. So, they cannot translate, or be infectious on its own. So first they must transcribe, to the positive sense RNA, by using virus-encoded transcriptase enzyme, that is, RNA-dependent RNA polymerase. Then, this transcribed positive sense RNA, which are similar to mRNA, can be translated to viral proteins. On the other side, the negative sense viral RNA are transcribed for complementary strand, for the transcription of negative sense viral RNA. Later. This transcribed negative sense viral RNA. And the translated viral proteins. Self assembles to form virion. Physical inactivation. This virus get inactivated at the temperature of 56 degrees Celsius, for 3 hour, or, at the temperature of 60 degrees Celsius, for 30 minutes. This viruses are also sensitive at the pH less than or equal to 2. This virus does not survive well outside its host, as it is susceptible to sunlight. Chemical inactivation. The Newcastle disease virus is inactivated by exposure to phenol, formalin, oxidizing agents, chlorhexidine, sodium hypochlorite, disinfectants, fumigant, and lipid solvents such as ether. Some attenuated Newcastle disease strains are used as cancer therapy in the cancer patients. This attenuated Newcastle disease strain, targets and replicates in certain types of tumor cells, but leaving the normal cells unaffected. This oncolytic Newcastle disease virus strains causes tumor cell death, by triggering apoptosis in tumor cells. 
This virus can also be used as vector in the recombinant vaccine, due to its abilities and advantages like. They can be grown in high tide or in embryonated chicken eggs. They can infect naturally through the respiratory tract, and is thus useful to deliver protective antigens derived from respiratory pathogens. They can bring out both humoral and cellular immune response. They does not integrate with host genome as it replicates in host cytoplasm, and shows least genetic recombination. With this we are coming to the end of part 1 lecture on Newcastle disease. In next video presentation we will discuss on the pathogenesis, diagnosis, prevention and control measures of Newcastle disease in detail. Hope the lecture is informative and useful. Thank you.